any good? Ah, uh, it must be. It's worth quite a bit. Okay. We good? And we're gonna buy mithril shields for everybody, apparently. Alright, Mangus hat. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we just need mithril shields. We need them for everybody. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we need eight. We're gonna get eight. We're gonna keep eight. I'm not gonna sell any extras, because they're for the extra people. Unless, of course, I'm not even gonna use them, which makes more sense. I just get four. Alright, I'm gonna get four. And we're gonna see how that works. Okay. Mithril shield. You, you've got the rune edge. Okay. Equipped. Mithril shield. There we go. You. Mithril shield. You've already got a regal cutlass. Equip you. Mithril shield. But that means that you won't be able to use your myth. Annoying. Um. Oh well, Lulu will come back in my party and I'll put her back in, so I'm gonna keep that shield. I know what I'm doing! Okay. Good enough. We're leaving now. Narshi is a neutral city. We want no war here, but that... What? Empire won't listen? Okay. Magic? Pshaw, what nonsense. So magic really does exist! What? <laughs> okay. Item shop, what are we gonna get from you? I'm going to take one more potion, that'll bump me up to 20, I think. That'll bump me up to five. Smoke bomb, don't need that, don't need that. Might as well take one of these. I hate using them, but, you know, whatever. You come back, I want to talk to you. The girl castle can burrow under the desert and take you to... Klingon. I don't believe... It can... <sighs> Castles can't move. We already talked to you. House of the Far Right contains treasure I've collected. Take it before the Empire does. Only one of them is locked. Now what do you suppose is inside? I don't know. I already took your treasure, though. Going form, sword off towards Figaro Castle. It seemed almost human. Yeah, almost, but not quite. Move. There's an inn there. Follow our elder's advice. Yeah, that's great. How fantastic for you. Alright, weapons. Let's see, we got one of those. Okay. You already got that. I got that. Could give it to you, but again, you're... I don't see much point in doing that. I could get the flail. I could get the full moon. Looks pretty awesome, actually. What is the flail? It looks like it's better for her than even that other thing she had. Alright, well, let's try it out, then. Alright, well, let's try it out then. This time hitting the correct button. Alright, equip you. I'll be your evade goes down to. You know, instead of just showing a little picture with her being happy and a little arrow going up, I wish you'd actually give me, like, all the stats and then arrows either pointing up whether they're going up or down whether they're going down. And in fact, just give me the numbers. What I have now, what I'll have after it. What's the problem with that? Why can't you have that? That way I know, 
some stats might go down, but maybe it's going down by 2, and then the other thing's getting up by like 20. It'd be nice if you could just tell me that. Now I've bought something I'm not going to use, because I don't want... Oh, wow, my battle power goes up a lot. My evade goes down by like 10, but my battle power goes up by... Like 31. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. We're gonna try it out for a while. We're gonna try it out for a while. We're going to... And you can't use the rune edge, can you? Can you use the rune edge? We're gonna give you the rune edge for a while. We'll trade it off with, uh, probably Lulu, who will probably be fighting more, actually. And you... yeah, okay. really wondering whether it's worth it just to get him doubles attack power, right? See, how much does it increase the damage by, though? That's what I want to know. Oh, well, I'll wear it, and then... <laughs> I'll wear it to get the, uh, defense increase, and then I'm just gonna give him the shield. Cause I'm a cheeky devil. Alright, let's go. Let's see, we already came from down there. We're not gonna use the inn yet. Saw some moogles walking with a sasquatch. That's great. in here. The Elder's House. Troubled. I want to avoid fighting, but I also want to kill things. Thank you. Is there anything I can take here? Like, there we go. I knew there had to be something. Alright, well that seems like all in here. Let's, uh... This episode's running on a bit for me. This guy ran away. The Esprits were probably the Empire there. Yep, yeah, sucks for you. Anything in this... No. Anything down here? Nope. Alright, so that's just a pointless room. That's great. Anything in the barrel? Nope. Let's check out this place. Relics? Great. More relics. It's just what I wanted. Siege party is really getting annoying. I want, like, a four-man party again. Fairy ring? What does that do? I don't know where that sounds that great to me. So, let's get out of here. Did I check these barrels? Get out of my way! Oh, fine. I probably checked the barrels. Moogles leave, live in the mines. Alright, that just takes me out. Oh, come on, this would be the perfect place to hide a treasure chest. Alright, let's go stop at the inn, leave town, and then I need to turn this off, because I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm really actually kind of glad that Kefka fight didn't give me any EXP. At least that way, at least that way I didn't have to re-record all that. Yeah, sure. I want my MP back. 
I probably should have gone out, leveled up until my HP was low, and then come back. Ah, whatever. So I'm not making the most out of this. I just want to turn it off. Okay, so. There we are. I was sort of planning on getting down to Figaro and then saving there and turning it off, but I am already sick of this game. So! Ah, so, this is it for Let's Play Final Fantasy VI this episode. So, uh, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later. Kiss kiss. I guess. Uh...